Welcome to Meaningful Magical Math. Today I want to demonstrate the partial products method for multiplying a two-digit number times a two-digit number. And we'll do this by multiplying 14 times 35. If you've seen my other video about two-digit numbers times two-digit numbers using an area model, you'll recognize this equation. We know that 14 times 35 is 14 times 3 in the tens place, 30, and 14 times 5 in the ones place. And that could be written like this, 14 times 30 and 5. And you'll recognize 30 plus 5 is the expanded form of 35. We could also write this as 35 times the 1 in the tens place, 10, and 35 times the 4 in the ones place, or this, 35 times 10 plus 4. And you'll recognize 10 plus 4 is the expanded form of 14. And that means that we can take 10 plus 4, the expanded form of 14, and multiply that by the expanded form of 35 to get a product of 14 times 35. So let's do that using um, partial products method. So in partial products, you write your equation vertically, 14 times 35. And then, as we recall, every place value must be multiplied by every place value. The ones place must be multiplied by the ones place. The ones place must be multiplied by the tens place. The tens place must be multiplied by the ones place. And the tens place must be multiplied by the tens place. So we're going to do that in this partial products method. So first, let's start with ten ones place times ones place. And that is 5 ones times 4 ones. 5 times 4 is 20. Then let's multiply our ones place times our tens place. And that is ones place 5 times tens place 10. That's a 1 in the tens place. And 5 times 10 is 50. Next, let's move to the tens place of the 3 in the tens place times the, one, uh, the ones place, 4. And that would look like 30, 3 in the tens place is 30, times 4 in the ones place. 3 times 4 is 12, and we're multiplying by a product of 10, 1, 0. And then let's take our tens place and multiply times the tens place. 30 times 10, whoops, excuse me, 30, whoops, again, 30 times 10. And we know 3 times 1 is 3, and we have a product of 10, a product of 10, 300. Now let's add this together. The ones place, all those zeros equals 0. 2 plus 5 plus 2 equals 9 in the tens place, and 1 plus 3 is 4 in the hundreds place. So now how does this relate to the area model that we've seen before? Okay, there you go. You can see all of that on here. This in red, this area model to the right of my partial products problem shows um, the area model of 14 times 35. We see the expanded form of 14 here, 10, excuse me, 10 plus 4. And we see the expanded form of 35, 30 plus 5. And so how does that relate to our partial products uh, strategy? Well, let's see if we can find the similar equations. We see 5 times 4 is what we started with in our partial products equation or, uh, model. And we see 
4 times 5 over here. Well, we know 5 times 4 and 4 times 5 is the same because the commutative property, commutative property of multiplication says it doesn't matter which factor you multiply first, you'll get the same product. We also see 5 times 10 in our partial products strategy, and here's 10 times 5. Again, the same thing. 5 times 10 is 10 times 5, so we see that represented. We see 30 times 4 in our partial product strategy, and we see 4 times 30 in our area model. Those are the same equations, 4 times 30, and 30 times 4 is the same. And we see 30 times 10 in our partial product strategy, and 10 times 30 in our area model strategy, and 30 times 10 and 10 times 30 are the same thing. We also see how we added our products 20, 50, 120, and 300 together to get 490 in our partial products method. And we see that demonstrated here in our area model. We have the same thing, 300, 50, 120, and 20. We see that there, and it, it makes sense that we would have the same product, 490 and 490. I hope you've been able to uh, practice the partial products method for multiplying two-digit times two-digit number, and you see the connections between area model and partial products. Until next time, bye-bye.